Everybody got PJ Hall and Ian Shefflin. Uh, go ahead with questions whenever you guys are ready. I just want to know about that final play. You know, is that kind of how you or how it was supposed to be executed? I guess what was that feeling like just when that shot didn't fall? Yeah, I was uh, sorry, forgive me. I kind of lost some voice the last few days. But uh, yeah, we um, drew it up to throw it in, get chasing the run at 3.1 o'clock, and he's probably one of the fastest dudes in the ECC. Got up the floor, pitched it ahead, and we, oh, we got a pretty good look. And uh, you know, it didn't fall. It hurts. I mean, we had a play where I, I, mean, I committed a dumb foul um, and also you know, um, gave up a jumper uh, to Love. So that, that one hurt too. You know, I got to get up and force him to drive. You know, there were some plays on the stretch where we, uh, we, we didn't uh, do what we wanted, but we did what we wanted. PJ, you said on the foul, what 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 exactly happened? What they fall on that? I have absolutely no idea. Um, I think it was a holding foul, but the players made down screen, and I had him on my shoulder. I guess he caught a linked him or something. I don't know. I mean, maybe it was a make up because they fouled and they cut. But I mean, he called it. Was, I guess he saw he saw a foul, so that's bad play. PJ, in the first half, getting those two fouls, that's something Coach Brown tried to work on. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to foul early, um, but it's um, it's not it's not good when I can't be in the game. Uh, obviously, I have confidence in Ian and Ben, and so they uh, they went in there. I mean, Ian had a had a great game. Ian, I, uh, Ben went in there, did what he can, and uh, I thought he gave us some good minutes too. Gave me a break on the bench and came out second half trying to focus on that foul and getting in that trouble and stuff. And um, late, I uh, had to get my fourth and. I was able to hold it under five, luckily, but you know, yeah, definitely need to make sure I don't foul early next time. I guess, how do you describe what happened towards the end of the first half there? You guys missed 12 out of your last 14 shots going into halftime. Was it just shots weren't falling, or is the offense not quite in rhythm? Or how you yeah, um, I mean, some just didn't fall, other ones weren't great rhythm. We had a shot clock violation, uh, things like that, but. You no, know, our, our goal was to you know move them around a little bit and get them to guard because they, they're guys who got. At 32, 36, 34, 36, 36, and their starters. So, I mean, they're playing tons of minutes. We're trying to make them guard. And sometimes we're taking quick ones. Even the second half, we did that. And uh, so sometimes they just weren't in great rhythm. But, uh, you know, if something didn't fall, it's just how it happens. Game of runs. Yeah, what do you feel like we're working with for you today? Um, just getting to the room. Usually, uh, I've been practicing just with Hunter and Coach Dean. They just teach me, you know, Pump fade, get to the rim, and I mean, I could finish pretty good. So I felt like getting to the rim was great for me. How much more comfortable you feel now than you did early on in the season as far as just being able to come off the bench? Uh, I think it's been up and down all year. I think I've been more comfortable at the five than the four. And with Hunter being hurt, I think me playing the four more is where I'm going to play probably mostly my career. So I think. I've been uncomfortable, but it's making me comfortable. So I think that's been a big change for me. That's been good. PJ, with Duke coming on Thursday, it's a quick turnaround. How do you get, get yourselves focused to get this one past you? Um, let it sting. Let it hurt. Uh, get back in the film room, see what you did wrong. Doing core practice for a day. Um, Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Uh, Sam and Davis, you had a prep. Um, then we get back in the core for a day. Can't kill ourselves. I mean, we got. It's such a quick turnaround, so we just got to go out there and play this game, play it um, with as much fire we had tonight. I thought that we competed. Uh, we had a lot of great energy, great spirit, and it ended up just not going our way. Uh, a couple of calls on the stretch, a couple of plays we didn't make. So uh try to go out there and get the next one. Ian, how do you feel about the importance of your role now? It's kind of changed over the last week. Yeah, it's uh, – for us, the just my energy has got to be up there because Nas can't play the whole game. So – just me being able to make plays defensively, offensively, just boosting our morale, just making us, I mean, just keeping us at a high energy is big for me because that's what Hunt did. He was a leader for the team. I mean, he's still the leader of the team. 
but as a freshman, that's kind of, I can be a leader, but it's kind of not my spot really. So I think just providing high energy for our, our team is where I need to be. That's kind of something that Nas did too, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's kind of, I kind of stepped into his role that he was on the bench. Now he's starting. So now I got to keep the energy on the bench that he was providing. So I think that's been big for me. TJ, what do you see from, from Ian and, and also Ben? Um, a will to get better. Um, I see a lot. What I was doing through last year, especially in Ben, uh, I was having to sit behind the mirror. I was having to watch and learn and learn, not just the system, but how to how to handle myself in a college game, how to make sure that I can um, like uh, just handle my role and do what I can for the team. And Ben's doing a great job of that. Uh, obviously, I mean, Ian played uh, 17 minutes um, and ben, ben, I know we went in there. Yeah, he played seven. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's about what I was playing last year. So uh, they're both adjusting their roles, and Ian's stepping up into a bigger role now because he um, he's filling in for Nas, who's now in the starting line. Oaks Hunter's down, but um, I mean they're both gonna be great players. Uh, they're they're in practice competing every single day. Now that I'm not practicing every day, they're uh, they're getting a lot more reps. Their their growth is just you know it's become more and more and more every day. So I see a lot of great stuff from them. Probably have time for a couple more. How can this team learn from this game? It was a back and forth game, five minutes to go, four minutes to go, three minutes to go, so that the next time you're in the position, you can finish the finish the game. Um, you know, get stops on the stretch. Uh, make sure that make sure that whenever we're going down there, we stay as one unit. We don't get too spread. We don't go into an island, and uh, make sure we stay as one on the on the court. And I think I really think we did a pretty good job of that. Uh, I didn't I didn't feel at all like we were separating it all like, like a couple of times in the earlier in the year. I mean, like DC sacrificed his entire body um, on a guy who's got 30 pounds on him for a charge in, in the last minute. So I mean, we were, we were, we were right there. Uh, there's not really much more you got to change. It's just making one or two more plays down the stretch or, I mean, also, I mean, down the stretch is important, but I mean, the first half, you also got plays where they're getting a few layups. It's never the final plays you lose on. It's always, I mean, there's always other plays you can look back on. So. The mindset going into this week, you know, the challenge that you take with three big time opponents. How do you not let this game kind of get you down, knowing that you've got a quick turnaround to face one of the best teams in the area? Uh, it's just the same thing. Um, as I said earlier, you just gotta get on to the next game, go back in the film room, the drawing board, see what went wrong, see what went right, and uh, get up a good, a good game plan for the next day. And uh, that's really all you can do, and go out there and compete your tail off. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you.